we've done Leinster, Leonora, and we saw Gualia, and then we've come on down and into Kokani, and uh, hopefully we might stay at uh, either Niagara, or, uh, Niagara, or down at um, Broad Arrow. It's in town that never quite died. Gold was discovered in the vicinity of Kokani in late 1890s and in 1899 the government added or well, decided there was sufficient interest in the area to declare it a town site. So by uh, 1901 Kukani had become a terminal point for Eastern Goldfields railway system, extended later, later extended to uh, Leonora. Well, this will be a, an interesting visit. Just not long left to Gualia. Driven about an hour and a half down the road, and uh, I've got to go and see Kulkaini, cool living ghost town. There's apparently a pub here that you must see. It has a uh, a friendly visitor. We hope. So hopefully we've done our timing right. The road in was good. Seal all the way, and uh, hopefully we might set up camp at uh, Nagaya. I think it is um, damn for the night. There you have it, the Grand Hotel at Hukain. Hukaini. Find out from our publican. How are you? Another spot landed, we're in Niagara Dam. It's uh, about 14 k's back from um, a Kulkaini pup. So we're in the lower section here. There's a uh, flushing toilet down there and a dump site, so pretty flash. And lots of wide open spaces where we can park up. So we're just going up to the top of the dam now to have a wee look. Got away from a bit of the wind, still about, but at least the day's nice and sunny. Looking good. <laughs> the eighth wonder of the world or a whopping white elephant like the Sphinx or the Pyramid in Egypt Desert Niagara, Niagara Dam there's a man-made marvel in the most unlikely location what could possibly have caused its construction and how on earth was it built back in the 1890s? Dry, commonly dusty locations such as this, not hard to understand that water or its absence has controlled a greater part of human society in the area. 
as prospectors flooded to the gold fields following the spectacular finds at Kulgadi and Kalgoorlie in 1892-93. The population needed water for basic survival and increasingly for the rapid expanding rail system that was a backbone of transport those days. In November 1895, Premier John Forrest embarked on a thousand mile tour of the gold fields, most on horseback or horse-drawn carriage. By the end of the venture, he had confirmed that most urgent need on the fields was water set about providing some short-term solutions including numerous bores and tanks, a large dam on a watercourse of the northern coalfields. The Niagara Reservoir is one of the few really good sites on the field, the natural basin affording every advantage of the conservation of a great body of water. On January the 20th, 1897, a construction was let to H. Nielsen. Water from the dam was intended to service the town and its surrounding district and the rail line was steadily advancing north from Menzies. However, in a highly ironic twist, abundant fresh water was found underground at the Kulkaini soon after the dam was completed. And with this went the main purpose of the extraordinary piece of early engineering. As the Niagara Township warned that the dam provided somewhat unreliable due to intermittent rainfall, the grand purpose behind John Forrest's plan faded into history, leaving us with a fascinating heritage site that surrounds today. The great thing that we do have here after the dam is a wonderful camping spot. We've got uh, above the dam, which is usually used for day use, and uh, there's a little boat ramp there, and uh, the bottom area, nice big expansive areas with little fire areas, fairly sheltered from the wind because it is a bit exposed here, but uh, you can definitely see it'd be a, a great spot to park up and enjoy a fire. And uh, I believe there's yabbies in the lake too. Hey there, good morning. We're uh, Niagara Dams. Had a good night here. It was really cool, um, as in cold. But the great night sky, no light pollution, minimal amount of people here, good wide open spaces. It was a great spot. So uh, we're hitting the road now. Uh, our final destination um, for a little while uh, will be Kalgoorlie and that's just down the road. We've got Menzies to go through and uh, Borobanda. Um, but yeah, we'll be in Kalgoorlie. We will park up for a little while. We've got family to catch up with, uh, some friends, and we've got a little bit of uh, maintenance. I've noticed a few things on the van that I need to modify or repair or do some uh, adjustments. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna um, end here. We'll probably do a little um, a little uh, exit uh, of around Kalgoorlie while we're there and uh, put that in as a little bit of a bonus feature probably a little later, later on. Um, and then we'll uh, be making plans for the rest of our adventure uh, where we'll head um, over towards Perth and uh, back down the coast over there um, and around the, the bottom, across the Nullarbor, um, over to the back over to the east coast and then um, yeah who knows from there so uh, thank you for tuning in on uh, series one I hope you've enjoyed it and we haven't bored you too much and uh, yeah bigger and better things in the next series all going well season two